All right, what is up guys? Cole here with Alliance Wake, back for another gear guide review for 2023. And this year, we are looking at the 2023 Liquid Force AeroCore Unity by Sam Brown. So right off the bat, I just wanna point out these Aero cores are light. And that is the truth when it comes to this model as well. It's very light board. Um, doesn't feel like much is underneath your feet. That is something that's really cool that Liquid Force has come out with. Also on the board, it does have a few cutouts. You know, it's somewhat stylistic, but it also takes out some of that weight in the board, just making it that much lighter. Pretty simple graphic, nice and clean, nothing too crazy. Uh, kind of like that film grain look over the whole thing, so it's not too flashy in the eyes. As far as fins go, these fins are molded in, and I will say they're not ginormous, and they're not, you know, crazy long. There's a few channels in the board as well to help you give it a little extra grip, but we also have a spine running down the middle, and uh, you can probably check that out right there. Yeah, that spine is great for landings. Now, let's jump over to the categories and see where this board stacks up. The first thing we want to look at is tracking, and that's you know your carves. How's that edge hanging in there? We go one through 10, when that's what we do for all these categories, but one is super loose and 10 is locked in. Like I said, we've got some fins here, so we're definitely gonna have traction. The edge is a little more rounded in the belly and then it really gets sharp toward the tail. That way, when you're going on edge, it locks in, but when you're kind of switching over 180, doing your butter 180s, you have a nice, catch-free kind of feel going on there. You got fins, it tracks well. We're giving it a seven out of 10. Next category we're gonna talk about is speed. Coming into that wake, how does this board ride? And it is a continuous rocker. It's an aggressive continuous rocker. But with that continuous rocker is continuous speed. You're not pushing water typically with a three stage. Um, this is gonna glide across that water a little bit better. It's a very even speed. It's not slow, but it's not too fast, coming in at a seven out of 10. Now, with all that speed, we're gonna go into pop. Coming off that wake, how does this thing do? And like I said, it's a continuous rocker, so we have good, consistent pop. It's not as an aggressive straight up pop, it's a nice controlled pop, and that just, to me, that sounds like Sam Brown. It's not gonna be unpredictable, and that's something that I really like about it. On the scale though, comes in at an eight out of 10. So the next category we're gonna look at is landings. We go one through 10 with landings, one being really harsh, hard landings, and 10 being really soft. Um, with this board, we do have that spine running down the middle, so that's gonna help displace that water, giving you a softer landing. And another thing is, it being a continuous board, it has a lot of speed, so you carry. You don't land typically with a three stage. If you land out in the flat sometimes, you'll kind of feel it on the front foot because it wants to drag. The continuous rocker keeps going, so you can continue that edge, making the landings a bit softer. So all in all, the landings land at a seven. And the final piece to the puzzle, we're gonna talk about swing weight. Now, how does that board feel underneath your feet? Is it heavy bringing it around or is it light? Now, one is gonna be real heavy, 10 is gonna be super light. We have to remember that it is that aero course, so it's already a super light board underneath your feet but I don't really feel much board under my feet when I'm spinning or bringing the board around. You know, these tips and tail are pretty thin to begin with, and they're also light. And the whole board overall is light. So to me, the swing weight was an eight out of 10. So that wraps it up for the Liquid Force AeroCore Unity by Sam Brown. This board is definitely a banger in their line. If you guys haven't rode one of these, I definitely recommend it. It's a nice, good, consistent board. If you guys want to know more information though about the Liquid Force line or this board or anything they got going on, head over to their website in the description below. But before you do that, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any reviews coming out in the future. Hope to see you on the next one. See you later.